Welcome to our special Halloween episode, Brunuts. Today we're celebrating fall and the ghoulish holiday it brings with the Wilhelm Scream by Magic Hat. Now before we dive into this beer, let me tell you a little bit about this brew's namesake. The Wilhelm Scream is a famous stock sound effect used in over 300 different movies. It's normally used when a minor character is shot or is falling. It's a bit of an inside joke to those in the business and is most notably used by George Lucas in the Star Wars and Indiana Jones series. Okay, to the beer. This is a straight up pumpkin ale. It's brewed with pale, victory, and caramel malts as well as Apollo and nugget hops. Then they add the usual pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice to the mix. It clocks in at 5.4% ABV and 20 IBUs, and it's going to pair really best with, yeah, you guessed it, desserts. More specifically, most desserts with caramel, cinnamon, or cocoa. You can also have a good time pairing pumpkin ales with hearty and earthy meats like in a beef stew, or slightly spicy dishes such as a mole. Okay, let's see what we think about it. I don't like pumpkins. <laughs> of course. No, they're weird to carve, they smell weird for sure, mm -hmm. and I hate how they look when they rot. I don't like how they look when they rot either. like a dying old man, and the insides seem like they mm -hmm. would be a dying old man. I'm a big fan of, of, of pumpkins, pumpkin seeds. I like carving pumpkins. I like pumpkin. the way pumpkins taste and everything. Yeah. Uh, not a pumpkin know. spice latte fan. I don't Too PTO much. for the PSL. Let's give her a good old sniff. Mm. It smells like, what's, what's the Thanksgiving thing with the cone on the table? It's oh, I know what it is, beer. I know what it is. It's a cornucopia. It's a squirtle. E everything fall. I think I can smell the leaves changing. It smells like Friday Night Lights. No, mm. really, it smells like everything I've ever smelled. I mean, the obvious pumpkin and Makes something sense. spicy. Not, not like hot spicy, but just right, like that. fall, fall spice. spice. Let's take a look oh, to Oh, yeah. yeah, let's give it a look. What are You're you colorblind, so you forgot. This is really uh, not dark as in dark beer Guinness, but mm -hmm. like... Definitely looks orange. Makes for sense. sure. Makes sense. I would definitely say that's orange. Let's let's give her a taste. Let's do it. Huh. Okay. Pumpkin, cinnamon. Cidery cinnamon. Just some caramel in there. Now I'm a fan of eggnog, so I taste a hint of nutmeg. nutmeg. This is pretty good. I'm not mad about this beer. I like this one. I still don't think I could drink all of the beer. Way to go, man! It's not, I think it's cidery. You know, way to go. I've had a I've had a woodchuck ah, or two in my life, ah. so I think it's hinting at the woodchuckness. I like it. I'm I'm not. I like everything pumpkin flavored. Right. I'd much rather have an Indian pumpkin ale. Is that what you would like? Pumpkin beers aren't my favorite beers. I mm -hmm. like them. During this time of year, I'm getting prepped for stout, so I'd much rather just go for a stout. Whoa. This is probably. It's not probably, it's definitely one of the favorite pumpkin beers that I've had this year. Where do you go, Magic Hat? I haven't had anything by Magic Hat in a long time either, I you know? I've never had anything by them. I love the label, has the terrifying pumpkin that's half melted, like Giving it's outside your front doorstep. The Wilhelm scream into an old yeah. school. Yeah! I don't remember how it actually yeah. goes. It's like a falling thing. Yeah. They're always falling. Ah! Great colors, great color scheme. So it says it's a performance in every bottle. Is this, is this beer performed for you? It's performed better than me on a Saturday night. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good beer, so it doesn't speak too negatively about you. Right, no. I will say, the smell of this reminds me your first parent-teacher conference. Yep. They, they have like a fall festival, and you, but you really it's like... you got the paper like, leaves all over the bulletin yeah, boards. Yeah. But really, it's about how bad is your kid doing in school. Dad's probably swigging out of a flask before he walks <laughs> in there because he's missing the game because it's a Thursday yeah, night. Yeah. That evoked a lot of memories from childhood. Yeah. Wow. That felt real deep. This felt deep. I feel... Sentimental is how you feel. Therapeutic. This is a therapeutic uh, beer. Their main beer is called Number Nine, and it is an apricot mm. ale. Best part of waking up is beer in not my cup. All right. Yeah. I'm let's, not too mad about drinking this beer. Not that mad about it. No. All right, let's give some ratings. Seven out of the full bottle. I could drink in the math of this. How many ounces 12 is this? Ounces. 12 ounces. So probably nine ounces. Nine ounces out of 12 ounces. Wow, way to go, man. Yeah. On a scale of pumpkin beers, this is pretty pumpkin-y. <laughs> From one to pumpkin, I would give this a, pump, a pumpkin. I think I'm going to give this a 6.5. It's good, a light beer. Light mouthfeel, I could probably drink a couple of them in a row. That's light? That feels pretty heavy to me. Mm. Feels about as heavy as carrying a pumpkin, or two, or three. The spiciness and that sort of thing makes it heavy. Like I'm already like full. Really interesting. Because I'm a baby. Greg. This is a tribute to Greg. 
<laughs> the final chug. Greg is the king of all beer reviews. We only hope to one day be the, as anywhere near Greg. Anywhere near Greg. <laughs> Cheers to Greg, the final chug. And that's, that's 